Another gray day. The clock said 8.30, but I didn't know if it was a.m. or p.m. The pounding in my head, eh, to it, it didn't make a lot of difference. It's just another gray day. Mr. Ace, have your drink. Thank you for coming, Mr. Ace. Vodka straight up? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Plantagenet. Would you like to have a seat? Yeah, I, that'd be good. <laughs> so the reason I brought you here is my husband has gone missing. Missing? Haven't seen him for weeks. No card, not a check, nothing. Well, you take your sweet time at doing something about it, don't you? It's not like it's the first time he's wandered off. He has lots of friends, shall we say, that he likes to visit on occasion. I don't want to pry, but that's my job. What do you mean when you say friends? Oh, I think we both know what I mean. Well, again, it's my job to ask questions and to find out the answers, so let's make sure we're, we've got an understanding here. Friends of the curvaceous persuasion? <laughs> uh, that's his preferred type of friend, yes. Well, I don't want to be inappropriate, but you're pretty curvaceous yourself. Why would a fellow like that, why would he be looking elsewhere? Hmm, your guess is as good as mine, Mr. Ace. But thank you for the compliment. So will you take the job or not? I'll pay in cash, and I prefer that no one knows. Well, that's just the kind of customer I like. Cash, and nobody has to know. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me uh, where he might, some of these friends might be, or what part of the, what part of town, or what part of the world he might be in. Well, if I knew that, I would just go find him myself, wouldn't I, Mr. Ace? Oh, Miss Plantagenet, let's not, Mrs., excuse me. Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> I may be a detective, but I can't work miracles. If you don't tell me anything, I wouldn't even know where to start. I'll give you everything I know. There, there was something that arrived not long ago. It was a, a book of some sort that came in a brown folder. I'd be of some help. She didn't give it up easy. But looking at the glittering on her dress and the red on her lips, I suppose that's how you get to where she is, by not giving anything up easy. A book and a folder and a glass of vodka in my hand. I'd ask her for something, something not so strong. Couldn't bring myself to drink it. Not now. I said, will you take it or not? I was proud of my apartment. Couldn't afford it any longer, but... But it had always been good to me. A little bit of a view cross ventilation and a lamp by my reading chair. The book felt good to touch. Secrets <laughs> seemed a little too obvious. Until you looked at what the pages contained. Expecting anybody. Did you get the book? I, he might have. I, a book? There are a lot of books. There are a million books in a city like this. <laughs> who's asking? Chantel. Conrado Chantel. That's who's asking. Did you get the book? I've heard of you. You're that fella from Argentina. The, the one that's been in the papers so much. I assume this is the book you're talking about. That is the book. I got you the book. Because I knew that if you got the book, things would be okay. Nobody plays ace for a patsy, see? What's this, you got the book to me. You sent it to somebody else, she gave it to me. Yeah, she, 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 that's what I'm talking about here. Do me a favor, partner, okay? Be careful of her, you know? <laughs> I spend my life being careful. Careful is what I get paid very handsomely to do when I get paid for it. 
Listen. You stand there with your cigarette dangling from your lips. That long greasy hair is hanging out of your hat. Coming up to San Francisco on the, on the, on the cruise ship to make your name up here selling your furs and your diamonds. I'm not impressed with you. You're sitting on my bed. Nobody sits on my bed. Colorado does. Colorado likes who you are. I watched you a couple days. You go after things that are important. You're following her husband, I see that. Her husband is important to me. The book is important to her husband. So now you're important to me. You follow what I'm saying? Listen, is Mrs. Plantagenet my client or are you? It's a good question. Because if you're my client, <laughs> it's gonna be $100 a week plus expenses. Listen, my friend. Do me a favor. I'll pay you $100 a day. You keep an eye on the book, you keep an eye on the lady. Inside the book, there's a lot of information. Conrado trusts you with all this information. Well, Conrado will be back. When Conrado is back, he'll be back. Good night. One case, one book, two clients. Didn't make a lot of sense, but when you don't know where your next job is coming from, you do what you gotta do. So sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Uh, Miss Plantagenet, please have a seat. Mm. I've made some progress. Oh, have you? This, book is, this book is blank except for the front page. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you noticed that. I've had this translated by, by a, 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 a Spanish. I, I'm sorry, I'm keyed up. It's. <laughs> I feel as though this is a major break in the light? case. I'm sorry, I don't. I, I, I had to. No uh, matter. I had to stop smoking. Uh, but I ordered you a whiskey. I mean, a vodka. You, you had vodka last time mm. together. I even ordered myself some mm -hmm. too. Not that I've had any of it yet. What I'm trying to say is this. <clears throat> The frontest piece of this book is written and scribed by hand in the Spanish tongue, mm -hmm. and I've had it translated. My darling, <clears throat> though I cannot read what you have thought, I yet can think it. I can hear within your mind the phantasms that flit through. Your heart, yes, yes, I know all that. And they need not be committed to the page. Of course. For yes. them. Mm -hmm. to imprint themselves on my mind, yes. I, I did all of that myself, you know. <laughs> I went to boarding school and of course we have to learn several languages. That's not what I needed for you to do. I needed for you to figure out what the rest of the book says. Now are you up to it or not, Mr. Ace? The book appears to be blank. And yet if it's held up to, uh, to a flame, it brings out the... Have you found my husband, Mr. Ace? Well, you're giving me a tall order, Mrs. Plantagenet. I feel as though this book is a big break. It's the one clue that we have, the one that you've given me. Of course it is. You know, if someone could find my husband, it would mean quite a bit to me. I'm sure I'd be very grateful. And you know, if my husband happens to be missing or proven dead, well, of course, that uh, changes things altogether, doesn't it? I'm awfully young to be a widow, but I suppose if that's what you discovered, well, then I'd have to live with it, wouldn't I? I... I imagine you would. It's awfully scary for a woman to be alone these days, these times, you know? <laughs>